Hello peoples of the internet, it's Mo, and I'm here with a slightly belated mid-year book freakout tag. So as I said, this is slightly late, but because I've only recently got back onto booktube, I feel completely justified in doing it now, especially because you guys didn't hear me talk about most of the books that I've read this year because I wasn't here. So some of these will be things that I have not talked about previously uh, in my videos, and because there's 15 questions, this is probably going to make a slightly long video, so I'm just going to get right into the questions. So the first question is, the best book that you've read so far this year? And this is actually the last book that I finished, which is this one, The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. I'm going to do a review video on this, because um, there's no way that I can do it justice, um, possibly even just in its own video, but certainly not here in a tag. It's about a thousand pages long, um, and this is about uh, the lives of a number of different characters who are connected to somehow the rebuilding of a cathedral in the 12th century. So you follow a bunch of different characters, you follow the prior of monastery, you follow some of the builders working on the building, uh, you follow the local earl and one of the bishops, and it covers a large number of years as well as a large number of characters, and it's really about how sometimes bad things happen to good people and sometimes evil men prosper in spite of um, in spite of how hard you try, sometimes things don't work out, and sometimes it just takes a really long time before they do. So this is a really brutal and sort of painful book, although it does have a happy ending, so if you're working on it and you're kind of not sure in the middle, do push through to the end, because it's very well done. Um, like I said, I will do a separate review of this, so I'm not going to talk any more about it now, but it was so good, I gave it five stars. The second question is the best sequel that you've read so far this year, um, and I'm going to interpret sequel as in any book that isn't the first book in a series, so I'm going to go with Bussman's Honeymoon by Dorothy Sayers. This is actually the 13th book in a series, and this is one of the Lord Peter Whimsey mystery novels. This is a series that was written in the 1930s and follows Lord Peter, who is the second son of a duke and has all of this free time and uses it to solve mysteries. And he's a lot of fun. He's a wonderful character. I will also be putting up a video about this whole series uh, sometime soon. I'm still working on putting it together because it is reasonably long. Um, I'm kind of putting this in as like a placeholder for a number of the books in this series because I really did like quite a few of them. Um, this is the one I probably enjoyed the reading of the most, even though I wouldn't say that it's the best written of the books necessarily, but there's so much more character development in this one than there are in the other books, and I just really enjoyed that because I really just read this series for the characters. Not that the mysteries aren't worthwhile, the mysteries are very well done, but I really liked the characters. Question three is a new release you haven't read yet but want to, and for this I'm going with Arabella and the Battle of Venus by David D. Levine. This just came out last month, and I read the first book when it came out last year and I really enjoyed it. This is a sort of alternate universe steampunk series um, with space travel in it, and it's like kind of like sailing ships in space sort of thing, because space is done the way that they thought it used to be then with like the ether and stuff and not the way that we understand it to be now. Um, but I understand that this one involves like space battles with Napoleon, which should be a lot of fun. Question number four is your most anticipated release of the second half of the year, and for this one I am going with The Glass Town Game by Catherine M. Valenti. This is a new middle grade that she's coming out with, and as we all know, I absolutely love her first middle grade series. Uh, the Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland is the first book in that, and so I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, apparently it's a sort of like portal style fantasy in which the Bronte family as children are the main characters, 
and I guess it involves Napoleon again, oddly, um, but I guess this Napoleon is... His horse is replaced with a fire-breathing ceramic rooster, which sounds completely ridiculous, but I know she'll make it work, so I'm really looking forward to that. Question number five is your biggest disappointment, and I'm not gonna pull up a book that I, like, disliked for this, because I don't think I've actually read anything this year that I've disliked. Um, if I did, I, like, DNF'd it. But I have a book which I'm really still not sure how I felt about, and that is The Third Revolution by Alexei Panshin. This is the second book in his Anthony Villiers series, um, which I picked up because I heard that it was a comedy of manners in space, which sounded like so much fun. Um, this was published in the 60s, and so I read the first three books in the series, and I liked books one and books three. They were, I mean, they were enjoyable, but not like anything to write home about necessarily. This is book two, and I just, it didn't, I don't know, it just didn't feel quite right to me, and I think possibly part of the reason behind this is that the main two characters, uh, Tony and Torv the Trog, were kind of minor characters in this book, and it was a really large cast, and I feel like the other characters took over, and it didn't feel like it had a normal plot arc, and yeah, so in this one, our main characters, like, go camping on this other planet with a whole bunch of random people. It was weird, basically. Question number six was, what was your biggest surprise? And for this one, I'm going with Crocodile on the Sandbank. Uh, this is the first book in a mystery series all involving, like, Egypt and uh, archaeology. And I really knew nothing about it when I went in, which is possibly why it was my biggest surprise. Uh, I just picked it up on a recommendation from, like, Goodreads or something. Um, but this was a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoy the main character. She's just got this great personality. Um, and I think part of what surprised me about this was that it felt slightly, like, Scooby-Doo-ish in a way. And I was not expecting that because it is an adult mystery novel. But, like, not in a- it didn't remind me of Scooby-Doo in a bad way. It wasn't, like, childish or anything like that. Um, it was just- it was a really enjoyable read and I would recommend it if you like mysteries. Question number seven is your favorite new author, and for that I'm going to go with Lois McMaster Bujold. Obviously I've heard tons about her before, she's a really big name in science fiction and fantasy, but I hadn't actually read any of her books until this year. Um, and I'm holding up the first one that I read by her, which is The Curse of Chalion. This is the first book in her Five Gods series, um, and it's a secondary world fantasy that, um, as the title suggests, um, involves a um, made-up religion, which uh, figures heavily in these books. Uh, the second book, Paladin of Souls, is somewhere missing. Oh, that's right. It's up here. So uh, I read both of these. I also read a couple of the novellas in her Penric series, which are in the same world as this. These are all really well done. They have some interesting ideas in them, and I'm definitely intending to continue with more of Lois McMaster Bujold's work. Question number eight is your newest fictional crush, and there's absolutely no doubt about this one. It's Lord Peter Whimsey. Um, I did read some of his novels prior to this year, but didn't develop my crush on him until this year when I read some of the later novels, which have a lot more character development in them. And he's just great. I mean, he collects novels and other books, and he solves mysteries, and he's, like, flawed and has all of these issues, but he's wonderful at the same time. And, like, his book series has, like, one of the best romances that I've read, so... Question number nine is your newest favorite character, and with, for that I'm gonna go with Prior Philip from this book, because he just tries so hard, and he's so good without even, like, thinking about it, and yeah, I like Philip. Question number 10 is a book that made you cry, and, well, this one. Yeah. Brutal, guys. Question number 11 was a book that made you happy, 
And for that one, I have this To Say Nothing of the Dog by Connie Willis. This was a reread for me, but I recently bought myself a copy of it and immediately had to reread it because it was in my hands and I couldn't help myself. So this is a comedic time travel novel um, which takes place in the future and in World War II and in the Victorian era, and it's basically Connie Willis's homage to uh, Three Men in a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome and to the Lord Peter Whimsey novels. And it's just wonderful, and it makes me so happy. And it was even funnier the second time around, so I really enjoyed this and look forward to future rereads as well. Question number 12 is your favorite book to TV adaptation that you saw this year. I don't really watch movies or TV very much, so I think I've only seen one this year, and it was a rewatch for me, and that was Oh Brother Where Art Thou, which is not exactly the Odyssey, but it's based on Homer's Odyssey, and it's really good. So if you haven't seen it, you should go watch it, because it's terribly hilarious. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to go with that one, partially because it's the only thing that I watch that falls into this category, but it's still good. The next question is the favorite video that you've made so far this year. I've made, like, hardly any videos this year because I only just came back to booktube pretty recently, so it would probably have to be my TBR tour video because that was kind of fun getting to go through all my books. Otherwise, possibly this one. Question number 14 is the most beautiful book that you bought this year, and this is hands down <laughs> this set of Kipling that I got earlier this year. This is uh, his Just So Stories, and this is the Jungle Book, um, and they're in the International Collector's Library editions, and it's just all of this gold leaf and they're gorgeous, and both of them are illustrated as well. So let me find one of the illustrations for you guys. Here's one of them. So yeah, these are just lovely. And the last question is, what books do you need to read before the end of the year? So I feel like I kind of already answered this question in my TBR tour video in which I show you all of the physical books that are on my TBR, um, but I pulled out a couple that are a high priority for me. Um, the first two I already mentioned in this tag, I don't have copies of them yet because they're new, but that would be Arabella and the Battle of Venus and the Glass Town game. And then I have a few others that are high priority. So firstly, Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke. The Fifth Season, because everybody is freaking out about the series right now, and I haven't started it yet. The next is Gormenghast by Mervyn Peak, because I read the first book in this series earlier this year, and I want to continue on. And then lastly, If on a Winter's Night, A Traveler by Italo Calvino. So. Let me know if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought of them, what your favorite book was so far this year, and I will be talking to you again in another video soon. Happy reading!